You ready? Yes, sir. You ready? Keep that going. It's a vibe oh, right bad, now. It's a no, This thing has got the vibe. I'm gonna let you never turn the bitch off. Bring that verse, my man. Gotta bring it back. It's a vibe right now. If you didn't know. All right, cool. All right, so you ready? Yep, let's do it. How you feeling? How you feeling? Wait, we didn't take the shot yet. Hold on, hold on. Everybody ready. These niggas ready, y'all. These niggas ready. Not yet, not yet. But, uh, I said, welcome back to the podcast of all podcasts, y'all. It's your boy, Prince. And today, I got some special guests with me, y'all. Now, these group of gentlemen with me today, they are known as the cast of Z's List. You feel me? And if you, if y'all know this homie, he's been on this podcast before. Oh, yeah, please turn it off. Shit, I forgot. You turn it off that one day. I forgot all oh, damn. Y'all, welcome back to the podcast, y'all. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm kind of fucked up already but you know run back run back run back we go we uh we go we go we gonna get into it man uh so yo i got dean's list in the house with me today i got the homie dean with me i got the homie matrix with me i got the homie dolo with me in the house so what's up what it's dude Dolo does dude. Don't, don't. <laughs> That's See, it's short. Short is Dolo. You, just, you gotta do it one time. You do it one time. Yeah, Dolo yeah. Do. It's, it's the ad lib. You need yeah. that person to ad lib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> After every time you say Dolo, do do. Yeah, you really <laughs> is. It's an ad lib. I got the crew now, <laughs> man. What's up with y'all? <laughs> Man, we chilling, chillin', man. Chillin', 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 chillin'. Enjoying life, man. California is a beautiful place to live. Oh shit! Well, can we take a shot to that? Yeah, boom. Can we take a shot to that? Put your cups up. Bet. Boom. Woo. I'm feeling good. It's a great time. I'm drinking oh, water. Man. How y'all feeling today, man? I had a good day today, too. man. It was a beautiful Sunday, man. Easing back, man. Got to meet up with the guys. They swagged out today, bro. Like, they really had to. Everyone's pretty swagged out. <laughs> Dean, man. Dean, last time I saw this nigga, he swagged out. But today, but today, it's just. Bro, like, it. <laughs> The crazy uh, thing is, he be like, ah, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? You, boy, you know you got swag on you, boy. No, Shaved it's up, it's man. literally nothing. The it's thing the is, he has a haircut, the too, thing. at that fade. <laughs> fade? I don't know, man, when I take care of myself. Sometimes I take care of myself. That's what's up. I mean, what, what's inspired you for this? <sighs> mm, bitches. <laughs> bitches, <Okay. Hey. laughs> I respect. I respect, I respect all bitches. Then we all, no, we all bitches respect all bitches. Cat. And when we say bitches, okay, y'all, we're not saying disrespectfully. No. We seem like bad bitches. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, respectfully, yeah, yeah. like Wonder Woman, like yeah. type bad mm-hmm. bitch. That's what bad we bitch. describe her as. But no, not really like though, dusty, really booty. That's an Amazon. Ugly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but respect to those women, too. But we're, right. we're. <laughs> but no, I just had uh, some, I uh, just had a realization. Time to do some self care, you know? Take care of yourself. It's important. Look good, feel good, you know? Look good, feel good. Word and just say he got the looks down, bro. Y'all inspiring me to step up. You know what I'm saying? Ah oh, man, no, I saw so you saw, bro. This is your swag. Like, this, this is your it. everyday swag, bro. You, you know, know like Goku fit. I had to go ahead and bring out the classic Goku on him today. You know, he, you know, back then he 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 didn't know how to fly, but you know, still had the swag. It's a classic thing, so you know. No, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. But uh, y'all, so everybody smelling good. I just gotta let everybody know today. I took shrooms for the first time. <laughs> Congratulations, how do you feel? Uh, it was cool, man. It was a vibe. Now, I've taken acid before, mm-hmm. and I loved Similar. it. Yeah. I loved oh, it. Oh, it's fantastic. I really love acid. That's That's three times. Times. I know you're gonna put a fuck with you. I'd rather take acid. But no, I, I be around the people, man. I'm glad we got to be a part of your first experience, man. So that's cool. Yeah. Historic day. It's always good to make history, so. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> you feel like I've woken up? Feel grounded? Well, I kind of got my feelings a little bit. <laughs> I'm dead. That'll happen, though. That'll happen. What you mean? I mean, I'll start thinking about, like, people I know. Mm-hmm. And, like, damn, maybe I should, like, call them more and, like, talk to them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. a good thing, yeah. You know, give them more time because I, I don't think I'm, like, considerate. You know what I'm saying? So it made me think that way. That's beautiful, man. That's a good thing, yeah. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Shit. He's just saying he got in his feelings. I'm going to pass it to him. <laughs> <laughs> when you're just like, still took it, when you're just go, go, go in Los Angeles, though, you know, hmm? it's like, it's it's hard to step back. Because when you're in it and you're just like moving at 100 miles an hour all the time. Right. But like when you when you take those types of drugs, it like makes you take a step back and be like, maybe I should be a little more thoughtful. Well, maybe here's I the should. thing. Here's the thing. I, I 
really like it for the creative, for the creative power. Mm. I think if you're a creative person, um, I think sometimes we do get like a, I guess a, what do you call it, a writer's funk or or like block, block. Yeah, 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 writer's yeah, block yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I can't think, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you and you need something to inspire you and help with that creativity. Yeah, and bro. Weed, you know, sometimes it helps fluctuate the mind, but dude, bit, sometimes yeah. you need something a little bit more better. And if you're creative and you're able to control yourself with under anything, I mean, yeah. the drugs you can do or whatever, mm-hmm. I say, like, try it, man, because I, I love <laughs> doing acid, man. Hey, it's bro. Important. At the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. If anything, it just gives you a different perspective and a different, like, how you're, like, seeing a, a lighter from, oh, shit, seeing a lighter from this side that acid or other drugs gives you the perspective to like step back and now you're seeing it from this side or from that <laughs> yeah side. see from that side you're able to see everything open up the it's like refreshing yeah, yeah it's, i love looking at artwork yeah it's cool yeah it's cool. It makes you, you think about it. yeah dope artwork you see it in a different way you're not even like it's like you kind of like touch with the, you, it's kind of like you get inside the artist's mind what he was thinking when he made it yeah I, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the approach to it yeah yeah, I can tell Man, you. yeah you feel me yeah, like i don't know i sure. just tune in i feel like when i take acid bro like i'm just in tune with Everything I do. Yeah. World. I'm dead. But with Shrew's, like, oh, it was cool. Everything. It was awesome. Yeah, but, which one? Yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask you when you come down, but which one are you preferring right now? I'd rather prefer acid. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's fair. Acid is where it's at for me. Um, I never, uh, like, feel shrooms. Huh? I never, like, feel shrooms. That's a, a, I, I felt it, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't. I think I, I, think I need. Three. Really? I see. I think I need to take probably more. Seriously? Yeah, an eighth is usually like, I'm chilling. No. The last time, um, I did, no, I'll take that back. One time I had like some crazy, crazy shrooms that like took me by surprise. That was a whole other, whole other thing. But like the last time I did did shrooms, I did 12 grams. And that was like one of the first times I was like, <laughs> I felt anything. Everything was melting. It was yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can go that hard. No, Your, that that shit sounds cinematic, man. Yeah, it, it was really, really intense. Because, like, I had tried it multiple times and just done eights. Multiple, multiple times. Never felt anything. Yeah. So I was just like full sun. I had 12 grams right there. It was like, all right. Jesus. Some niggas can do that. Some niggas can hang. Like, if you can't yeah. hang, don't try to do that shit. No. And, like, it's kind of like taking an edible low key. Because, like, I know what I'm saying. Well, you for know, you though, you know, edibles don't work for me anymore either. It, it just makes you really? sleepy. I know people it work for. Hell is sleepy. I feel a thing. Damn, I, I get high as fuck. Really? Yeah, bro. I haven't taken an edible in like a year and a half though. Because I'm like, last, I just don't. Last night, nothing. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. It just makes me hella sleepy, bro. I mean, when I first took an edible, bro, it was scary as fuck. I had, yeah. to, call, I had to call a female to calm me down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is an emergency. Hey, baby. <laughs> she had experience it with me, for real. Hey, baby, I'm too high. Come cuddle me. It's straight Come up. Come cuddle me. <laughs> That's real. That's real. <laughs> it was scary. Like, no, because the thing was, like, because, look, when I first took the edible, I was in my room by myself, mm-hmm. and I was like, damn, this shit ain't hit. God damn, like, it's been 30 minutes. Everybody go through that stage. Right. <laughs> and then look. You got to give it an hour and a half at least. No, I know, but I wasn't. I was yeah, impatient. Yeah. And then I took that it's shit, and then all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. I was like, oh, hell no, I'm scared as fuck. <laughs> and then I had a call. I was like, yo, I just took this edible. Like, can you, like, calm me down? And she would just laugh at me and shit. And this bitch was weird, bro, because she was like, she go to sex parties and shit. So I knew she knew about those kind of drugs and shit. Mm-hmm. But this is not my first early stages of being in LA, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to the Connect. Shit, you had somebody to call. You know. But today when I took, <laughs> but today, but today when I took the shrimps, I'm like, damn, I'm not. Well, first of all, I called this nigga. Yeah. I called him. <laughs> I was like, bro, how do I take this shit? How do I take this shit? <laughs> I was straight up taking the shit. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I, I tried to FaceTime this thing, right? I tried to FaceTime him, and then he was like, uh-oh, I'll answer later. <laughs> I can't answer right now. Man. And I was like, oh, I thought I thought you were going through something or something. <laughs> no, right. no, people literally... Oh, I mean, he was going through something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. someone was going through something. <laughs> I, I don't know. 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 <laughs> New topic. <laughs> <laughs> Little daddy. Uh. <laughs> but, um... Y'all wildin'. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, 
the shrooms. The shrooms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I called. I was like, bro, how do I take this? He was like, oh, bro, uh, some peanut butter and bread and shit. I sent him a picture. He's like, yep, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's pretty> dark, <laughs> right? And then look, so I didn't feel anything. I waited a good minute. I didn't feel a shit. And then I was like, damn, I'm going to just go ahead and do another and take the rest. And I started feeling it. And I started playing music because, like, when I play music, that's just. Yeah. Yeah. Sad for me. Should make tea. Huh? Should I'm gonna do that tea. next time. Tea? Yeah. Tea. I'm gonna do it next time. Or it's burger. A, it's, it, it, a burger? Oh my god. The tea. <laughs> the tea hits you harder. <laughs> I mean, it hit you, my heart hits you faster. Really? It yeah. does, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, you can, like, you can dose it. I'm gonna do it next time. Uh, So, I'm actually, not feeling I'm just vibing all day. I'm just like. <laughs> And I was like, all right. I was looking at pictures because I was looking at my, <laughs> I was looking at my cartoons and shit that I've been working on and everything. So, just trying to get that created too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But enough about me. Fuck, hey, like, she she is is fuck me, man. It was a great day though. That's what's up. History, bro. We a part of your first journey, man. That's yeah. amazing. Uh, I'm trying to do a, like, do a trip soon. It's about time. I love to do it with you. I love to do it with you. Trip, man. <laughs> well, yeah, what's up, Dean's List? What's up with y'all, man? Like, I, 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 enough about me. This is about y'all now. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me. This is with y'all, man. So, what's y'all, the deal? As y'all don't know, this is Dean's List. And what they do is they like to uh, they get submissions. Well, let them know. Yeah, I'll let you do it. Yeah, so pretty much people like from all over the world send us submissions of their music. So, like, uh, beats, raps, country songs, techno songs. All of the shits, all of the music, and then uh, we pretty much just tell them what we like about it, what we don't like about it, uh, things that we think that they can improve upon. Uh, they take the advice, they take it. If they don't, they don't. But then the three uh, top songs tonight, we do ten songs every every night. Three top songs get on to a playlist called the Dean's List, which is on uh, Spotify. So you know, opportunity for like artists to, like a uh, local artist, like just indie artists to showcase their work. Um, Get some more streams, get a bigger audience, just some more opportunities for artists. To and get some feedback. Yeah, and get some feedback. Because the people around you aren't going to give you like the honest feedback. Right, They're just right. Gonna be like, yeah, it was good. Because I know when I was looking for shit, I was looking like, <coughs> when COVID was so I was like, what am I, I going to do now? How am I going to get my music out? And um, so I started like sending my songs and stuff, submitting. And I was like, man, my friends and people need more opportunity to showcase their work. So, <coughs> So Bro, see a need, feel a need. Yeah. <coughs> so now more people can showcase their work now. That's just super dope. That's really lit. Yo. I mean, it's been super, super the, sick. And I get to do these cool guys. The concept behind it, too, like, we rate it on the grade point average. So it's a 0 to 4.0. That's why it's called the Dean's List. You know what I'm saying? You know. It's not yeah. just my name. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the Dean's. It is also his name, but it's not just his name. No, which I think is, like, really dope. Yeah, you know no, it's saying? fantastic. It's, it's so perfectly. Now, um, okay, I guess I'll pretty much describe it. Uh, <coughs> so, do y'all week like, huh? I said week off, not growing. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, right. You, gotta, you gotta let people know, yeah, real shit. Yeah. I keep my mask on know, deck like a Glock. Because this is on Spotify, y'all, so they be like, these niggas coughing a lot. Mm, nah, right, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> anyway. I put my smile on right now. <laughs> anyway, so, um, y'all like to judge music. So, how many submissions are y'all, like, getting? Well, so... When I first started it, when I first started it, I got like 10, 15 submissions because I would like put something out on Twitter and just sent it out on <coughs> Instagram. And then I, um, like, I think it was this, off this, like the second episode, was it the second ep- episode we got, like, they did like really, really crazy for some reason? Uh, second or the third. So it was the second, one of those episodes, um... It took off. It like literally took off, and then like a a post that I posted in a um a group on Facebook got shared, and it just fucking took off. And now we just I just have submissions every single day. It just people all over the world from my like through my email, through Twitter, um, through Facebook. It's uh, like it's pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's lit. That's yeah, no, it's yeah. super super cool. People like. It's really cool. All right, so some, all right, so just let people. the audience know y'all yeah. are artists, right? Yeah. 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 yeah so we are so artists. Music too, right? yeah. 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 So um, that's the number one. Thing. Okay. So who the fuck 
<laughs> do y'all think y'all are to be judging other niggas' music? I'm dead. What so, credibility do y'all fucking have? Not a single one. I mean, at the end of the day, nobody really. Besides, I got my no credentials. Besides thinking so, y'all know like, what I, good music is, I wanted to. I started because I'm just. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say just personally, me personally, because uh, I've seen the way y'all do it, right? Yeah. yeah. Y'all be clouded sometimes. I'm not even lie. Y'all be clouded. That would offend me. That would yeah. really offend me, especially if I didn't get if this like. The song I think is one of my best songs. Yeah, the yeah. way the way I look at it, if you get offended, you're not a real artist. You're not there for the right reasons. It's if you're there to, for, like I, like we wanted to start this for the artists, for like the actual people that are there to try to improve, to try to like get the the streams and get the stuff. So if you're there to get critiques, that's what you're there for. Yeah. Right, right. You know, why would you send us something if you're not there to hear what we're trying to say? Facts. Okay, so do y'all see this as just another? lane of y'all doing of like just of just getting those selves out there or because to me I feel like mm. I can't contradict someone else's work when I do the same thing and I'm not there yet. and I'm not saying you're trying out there because y'all do have y'all's background y'all have y'all do have numbers and everything yeah. but I'm just saying in general I feel like it's like DJ Academics for yeah. instance, mm-hmm. he should really be making music because he'd be trying to critique everybody's fucking shit. Yeah. Like, oh, this shit was whack and well, trash. Is he making music? He yes. do, but I, it's, it's, that's that's satirical. That's like <laughs> satire, bro. Like, right. I'd be out here. <laughs> right. Yeah, so he, you know what I'm saying? But isn't yeah. it a contradiction, though? Let me put it to you like this. Nah. Like, so everybody consumes music. Everybody that consumes music judges it. They got their best shit. They got their worst shit. What we are doing with your music is just saying it out loud. I could critique some grown people shit. Like, I could tell you what Jay-Z songs I don't like. And, like, nobody will bat an eye because, you know, we critique that kind of music all the time. But when it comes down to, you know, people that are on the come up, it's like, who are we to critique? Well, we regular folks. That's what regular people do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we going to critique your shit if your shit ass, man. I'm going to let you know. Um, and to be honest, I'm a lot nicer than that. I don't ever be like, your shit is ass. <laughs> but I'd be like, ooh, I don't appreciate your lyrics. I don't appreciate the sound. Maybe do this, do that. But, yeah, you know. I know I know. for me as an artist, I don't like it when people are just like, oh, yeah, it was good. I hate or, that. Or I'm just like, oh, I didn't like it. Like, right. Tell me what you don't like about Something it. Specific. You know, and, that, and I think it is good that, because y'all are artists itself. And I yeah, think yeah. y'all do know what a good sound or song is. Yeah, is I mean, like, I feel like when you become, you decide to take this path, it's like, you at least study the game and study, like, how music should sound to a certain extent, because it's like your career, this is right. what you want yeah. to do, and it's like, if you're, if you're not, like, fully invested in that, you can at least give the pointers, because for me, it's like flow, <laughs> if somebody has, like, a sick flow, I can, it's a feeling, you know right. what I mean? Right. But if you if you can't capture that, it sounds like you're <clears throat> reading off your phone or you're doing this or that. It's like yeah. you know the suggestion that you need to give that person to make them better. Right. Mm-hmm. But if the song's fantastic, like we're gonna say the song's fantastic. Right, right, right. should be the like intention. Honest. Like if you could yeah. tell somebody don't got the intention behind it, like yeah, reading off their phone and shit. It's like da 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 da. It's like ooh. I don't think you intended to sound like that. What yeah. you want it to sound like is the way I'm sure you hear it in your head, but it's not coming out that way. But then if you hear somebody intentionally doing like some satirical shit, you'd be like, yeah, that's funny because I know that's what you meant to do. So like that'd be my whole thing. Okay, so y'all's, criti- y'all's critiquing is more of, um, okay, so. Yeah. On a fan base. What, you like, could you know, do, what, you, what y'all think they could do better on? We we yes, so I think like, we're branding and we come as it more as a uh, like as peers, not as like where people are in the industry judging your work. We're peers, right? Like you, yeah. We're just another person, just like you, trying to be out here, and this is what we think that 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 you can improve upon. That's and that's why I say I feel like it's another lane for y'all successfully too, besides y'all's music itself. Yeah, because like what? Yeah, I don't, I, but what if? Yeah, but, but let's yeah. just say. I don't know. And, uh, mm-hmm. mes- manifesting. What if this pops for y'all? Big for pops. Y'all's music way more. I can see I that. Know, from, from, and that like, and, and I mean, like, it brings like mad money. It it's probably from, comes like, uh, uh, it comes a thing, bro. Y'all yeah. have like a lot, and y'all actually low key put on artists. Y'all are the new wave. 
That's cool, you know, but that's yeah. that's the point. That's the point. The and not even just not, rap. At it least for me, all it's not for me. It's, it's not for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not dope, for me. But I have it's other for goals. other people. But I mean, that's this the whole thing, aspect. Though. My music is for me. Like that. This isn't for me. This is completely for other people. So like, if it if it pops for putting other people on, cool. That's what I've intended it to be for other people. It has nothing to do with me. This is a platform. Right. Where other people need platform to send their music to. Okay, we created one, so now more people have a platform to send their music. But to. what if this is the platform that I mean? This is this but if it's the thing. if it's oh. not if it's not sold out shows, I don't want it. Huh? If it's not oh, sold out wow. shows, oh dang! Like that's, that's like I can do both. For me, I can do both. I bro, because I, I have a couple, a, like like my passion is lying both. I love people and I love music. It's, it's, bro, I, look, I'm telling you, I'm a visionary. I'm a visionary person, bro. And I yeah. just think when I see yeah. y'all do the thing when y'all's live, and I, I see you could believe. I believe it could be something. I know it's going to be yeah. something. But I, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, who yeah, knows? Yeah. You know, yeah, it yeah. works. It works so well too because everybody comes from like a little bit of a different perspective. Yeah. From it, nobody's analyzing it the same way. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's a really dope thing, yeah. and I think y'all are all dope. Y'all have different background. It, it's lit. It's I'm here for it. I yeah. like the judging aspect because I I used to do the shit. Kind of, yeah, I used to do the shit back in college. You know, I had a whole organization behind it. So like. I'm not out of my element when I'm like judging people's music. That's why I feel like I articulate the way I do. Mm -hmm. um, and bro, I appreciate this platform because like I'm a I, this is this is helping my people. You know, my people send in music now, and it's like this is gonna be good for them. It's gonna be good for whoever it's good for. I'm willing to talk about it, and like it's never gonna change yeah. the fact that I love music so much. The yeah. fact that I like my art. So yeah, man, I'm here for the platform. Yeah. yeah. I, I, literally love music i love listening to all the different stuff it's like it's like watching movies or reading books you, you watch a different shows you watch different different movies you yeah. watch independent movies right and listen to independent music like all of that it's like reading stories and stuff I just i'd rather do that than like that watch shit. tv yeah but, but no so I, also, I also have another thing though well i mean it's not like i'm really peeping their sound like that never mind because mm -hmm. i was about to say well because most artists, most artists don't like to listen to other artists, because they don't like to like catch their sound. Am I correct? I yeah, uh, I, I've, heard that. That. I've, I've heard yeah, artists say that. Like, I've heard artists say that. I've heard artists say that. For me, it's different. I think it's all for like why you make music. Yeah. The reason why I make music is like different than I would say most people. So for me, like I doesn't phase me. I don't care. That that sounds like some industry shit though. It's what? like, what can I, what can I steal from this person? Like, what? Because you better believe I, they. There's a lot of stealing. Oh, for on. sure, oh, for my sure. God. But I'm not. When I listen to it, I'm not thinking, oh, I could use this flow in a, in a new song. It's just like, that's a feeling. Right. I my feeling. Myself. So my thing. The reason why I love music. The reason why I do music is because I'm a fan first. So yeah. like, if I don't listen to music, then I wouldn't even make music. Yeah. So like, that's me. But like, un and understand, you'd be like, uh, that's a halfway artist. Well, that's the way my dad did it. My dad had a jazz band in Chicago. Like, consuming the music is what makes us love the music. For yeah. me, so. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. And it's like you can't take from the community without giving to the community. So I'm like, how can I expect all these other people and all these people to listen to my shit and promote my shit if I'm not listening and promoting other people's shit? Yeah. It's like kind of pretty much like a karma or it's a... I mean, you put you get put out what you type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, that's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's really good. I think that's dope what y'all do and how y'all come up with it. Uh, who came up with it? Whose idea was it? Ding. Oh boy! <laughs> Ding. Yeah, Ding. I dope, dope. I had the he the mastermind. I had an idea for a while, um, and like thought about it for a while, while and then. Um, <clears throat> Major set me up about doing a cipher, and then I told him the idea, and he was super, super down. Yeah. And then uh, I had a couple guests, and then I asked Dolo to be a guest, and then that's the little being guest again, and then you just you know, stay. I never said no. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really. Yeah, I slipped. And when do y'all do this? When do y'all do it? Every Friday. Every Friday. Every yeah. Friday. Friday around nine o'clock, uh, Pacific time. You know. No, that's lit. Um, no. Don't be super, super fun. I'm like. <laughs> Do y'all ever get bad feedback? Like, man, fuck you. That one time. Uh, we got one. Yeah, one, you know, one you know, time. This podcast, so you know, yeah, we literally got one. one. 
I'm telling you, what happened? I don't know, it was literally just some dude talking about it. It was like, this is boring, you guys, you guys suck or whatever. It was literally, it was low-key funny. It was really funny. Wow. We Bro, we stopped the show and gave him a little clap. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, <laughs> shout out to the first hater. You know what I'm saying? You did your thing. You had that, man. Yeah, it was really, it was really, I think we dealt with it really well. It was really funny. Nice, nice. Hello. But no, most, we get really good feedback. The comments are really nice. I get like really, really cool DMs from people all the time. Like, it's like uh, thanking us for our advice and asking us to do more. And it's, it's, yeah. I That's get dope more as hell. positivity than negativity. I don't even like get more, like, much negativity. Because I think we go into it with a uh, Good we, fairly good intentions. Yeah. The fact that I be, you know, I be going yeah. in, but like, yeah. it be good. You know? No, that's what's up. You know? Nobody should be a dick. So like, people it's, don't it's, have those opportunities. Like, you have to like pay some some amount of money, and people are like, that's a that's another thing. Yeah. It's like people don't want to do that. So, what do y'all think makes a great song? You know what I'm saying? What, what to y'all personally, individually? I want to know y'all's personal opinion. That's different. It depends on the song. It literally depends on the song. It's different for me. Because I, I let, let people know all the time. Because, like, I'm notorious. Like, I like sometimes... Are y'all, like, like, looking for certain something? Or are y'all... No, I'm looking. I'm looking for a flow. Okay. Like, if you can... If you can ride the beat so well that, like, it sounds almost like an instrument. You're like putting... Uzi? You're piecing it together. Kind of like Uzi. We were listening to, like, a Tory Lane song in the car. Yeah. And, like, the... Well, I mean, I, I mean, yeah. yeah, like the way he was hitting the beat and the melodies at the same time, like that's, that's just magic when you can put that together. And we get a lot of different submissions from like everywhere. So it's, mm-hmm. it is a case by case basis. Cause I'm not going to judge it off of like personal taste all the way, but yeah, it's like instruments where, we do a where good job everything with sitting in the mix where like what effects are on the, on the vocals. It's like, how can you break it down and tell them what they need to hear is this is the verse too muddy? Like, do you need something, or do you just need to fucking practice? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it comes down to that. Right. How about you, G? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Intention, like. Yeah. The thing is, like, if you think about songs that's real popular, um, so I've been listening to a lot of Don Tolliver lately, but like his sound is so like dynamic. Like everything that touches my ear is pleasure to my ear. You know what I'm saying? His voice, the beat. And just how everything goes in and out, that's cool. But that's what he intended to do. But I'm also a fan of, like, Chief Keef. You know what I'm saying? Everybody turn up to Finito. But I'm talking about the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody would be like, damn, Finito is a lyrical masterpiece, you know, like, 50 years from now. But, like, I'm going to know 50 years from now the value of it because the intention behind it. Yeah. Chief Keef didn't give a fuck when he made that song. So that's why we don't give a fuck when we hear it. It's just, like, turn up. I'm a gorilla in the fucking zoo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, it's intention for for me, man. But, I mean, well, you got to think about some of the best songs, you know, if this nigga just goes out there and just let loose. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not Fact. like they really, like, I don't think they put much thought into it. They just mm-hmm. really went in there and just let loose. Fact. Yeah. Um, but you can also feel that at the same time. It's yeah, like, that if, part. If they don't feel it, then it's like that part. That yeah. part. There's a lot. That's of what that. I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. if you if you, if, it's, if you're not intending to like just let loose, let it go. But if you let loose, everything sound good. You 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 don't know what you're saying, but you know what you're saying. Yeah. You letting it out. Yeah. That shit cool. Cause like, damn, the nerve of this dude to like get on there and do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember I saying like I appreciated that guy's nerve. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. That's you know so yeah, that's that's you you can almost like hear the the truth coming out of their voice or like the inspiration. It's mm-hmm. like it's powerful when you hear a song that's like felt. Yeah, no matter what they're saying, they can be yeah. saying like the most holy thing or the most ignorant thing. Yeah. It's the nerves. Like shout out to the fact that you got up on the song and you meant what you said. So right, right. So uh, GD. Uh, for me, I try to come at it in two ways. I come at it like the technical way, as far as like industry level. Uh, if you're trying to do it on a professional standard, like what we hear on the radio, like, and then I come at it personal. Um, but for me, I like the more personal. I'm notorious for liking like quote unquote shitty sounding music. <laughs> um, no, you're not, man. I, I, I like that kind of stuff because it's a, it's a feeling for me. Um, 
I just like uh, I tell them what to do to fix it as far as like the mix as far as like the things that I've learned technical wise is like EQ, uh, compression, stuff like that, and then I'm like, okay, personally, I like it that you didn't EQ it though, and it sounds like it's like you were just in your garage recording it because it sounds like a garage event. Like, because for me, I like that kind of stuff. So it's, but I, like yeah, again, I tell people like, yo, I'm not a professional. I'm not, it's, this is just my opinion. It's my opinion. Yeah. Right. It's our opinion, but I feel like we at least have some credibility towards it. Yeah. Uh, what did you say? I feel like we at least have credibility because we we've, we've made songs and like written for enough time that we like at least know our shit. Of yeah. course. Because it's like if it, if you get into any career, you have to study. You have to fucking learn what what made these songs popular back in the day. You gotta right. understand like. Where the person's coming from, just by hearing them, it's it's, it's all like important in judging music. Mm. And people that are casually listening, they're not listening to the specifics. Yeah. They're, they're not listening to effects or like trying to think where these instruments are placed. So what do, what do y'all do, t- or what do y'all do um, personally yourselves to like get in the flow of making y'all's own music? Like for me, um, when I used to make music. Um, I used to just get high straight up. I had to be yeah. in like a dark room. Mm. And I was just let loose. Yeah. I don't know what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? Music is like a very thing that you just let loose. Really. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just let, you know what I'm saying? If you're a creative yeah. mind, you do that. So, um, Hell yeah. That was one of the things I did. And then sometimes I used to get inspired by hearing another sound. Drake used to inspire me. Drake used to inspire me. Yeah. yeah, Drake yeah, used to yeah, yeah. everybody. You know, Shout out to Drake. I hate to admit it, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, you know. I, 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 back in the day when I used to do music, yeah, I used to put out, I had like probably like four mixtapes I put out. Then I got bored. They're trash. But like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But the thing is, I want to do this. I'm telling you. Yeah. No, no. He, he, he not going to like it. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. What you said, the bitch, nigga? It's all in good love, man. I be ripping my own people shit apart too, bro. I, no. My homie Golo, he put his shit on there. I, I ripped them apart a little bit. But when I, uh, no, but like when I, um, I used to get inspired by something. But now you know, I see there's some drugs or some shit. Not, I'm not a drug t- or drug person like that. So let me stop. That's how I started this podcast talking about that shit, but I'm not even like that. But that's why I, I had to get inspired. So I had to get inspired, yeah. and I need like to be in a mode, yeah. a mood, you know. So mm-hmm. what? Is y'all's flow? I mean, you have to catch into that flow. For for me, it's just I feel like consistency is the thing. Because even if you're not like in that flow mode, you're still gonna at least get a little bit better. You discover something about like mixing, or you discover something about recording, mm-hmm. using your voice in certain ways, and then it, like it adds up over time. But then when you do hit that flow, it's like you could go at a million miles an hour and still be like. Just fucking hitting it and finish the song in like thirty minutes. Right. So, oh my god, dude. I used and, to, yeah. I used to come home from work and I'll at least try I'll at least knock out like two songs. Yeah. Or at least like get to like start them. Cause I'll like I'll like look up beats. I'll drive home. I'll drive home and I'll like just be rapping freestyling beats. So yeah. I'll drive yeah. Home. So then And then you I'll, get a really good one and you're like, I got Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll have like two of them on already. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, all right, let me yeah. get home. <laughs> when you get this, you get the hook, da 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 da, yeah. da freestyle, and then I'll do that. So that's how yeah. I used to do it. So what are y'all like for y'all? What about you, Dean? Uh, it's different. So it sometimes it's different. Sometimes I get like just super super inspired about something. I'm like, right, now I got to do this literally right now. Because if I don't do it right now, I'm not gonna want to do it. I gotta do it. So I drop anything that I'm doing, and I go do right then, right now, and I go do literally anything I gotta do right then. Um. But most of the time, I'm definitely under the influence of something. Man. Yeah. 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 Shit, you man. have to get it out in that moment, too. Yeah. Because it's like, I, if you re, if you record it, like, the next day, it's not the, you weren't in that mood. Notepads and shit, like, when you get a line, it's like, oh, that'd be yeah. a good line, let me go ahead. Yeah. If yeah. you don't get it out that, you know, the, like, that same so, 60 seconds, bro. My voice memos and notepads, I look like a crazy bro. Bruh, that's all I was thinking. That's all I was thinking. If I fucking died, if I fucking died, if people went through my phone and just, like, was just going through my phone. Bro, I be thinking about that shit, too, dude. I was like, bro, if I died, just go through my phone. 
the best shit is in here. You know, the funny, it's in here. You would learn a lot. Not real <laughs> shit. Through anybody's phone. You don't understand. But, um, what'd you just say? Because I had a thought. My uh, notepads be weird because the uh, random bars I just be putting in there. That's not a question. So like, I think the last weird I know was like dead ass, like we fucking in a morgue. Right, bro. So, <laughs> all right, so right, you wrote that, right? Like, yeah, it's just you it's wrote just, that it's just right? in there by but itself. Did, but like, did you forget? Like, like it's just by itself. It was like. So did you remember how? Like, did you remember how the it. tone to say that? No. Don't you hate that though? Like, do no, you have no, to do the memo? No, because if I if I got it, like it's it's. If once I have something, I can I can memorize it. Okay. It, I just use like monikers and stuff to memorize something. Uh, in my notes, I literally like literally I would go like, for flow I would go like dot dot period dot 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 dot, dot period. Then like okay okay I remember that now. That made me, that remind me that that put me in the headspace that I was right there. I remember what I was trying to remember then. That's lit. That's crazy. That, uh, you can think that way off your own little like yeah just little like, piece yeah. of shit. Try to use something to. Put my like yeah. Okay, cause uh, that, so that, like, you know I, I do like you know videos and everything. So sometimes like yeah. if I think of something funny, I like have to write it down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and like certain things like I write. Uh, I'm working on like an anime story too. Mm-hmm. I've written uh-huh. like certain things about it, but it's like a sentence. Mm-hmm. So one day I sent my friend like uh, I guess the time I sent him like I've. I'm so far into the shit, bro. I wrote the episodes from episode one to episode Damn. 26, like the synopsis. Damn, that's yeah. hard. This, this, oh, the okay. synopsis. Just the synopsis. Not, but still, like synopsis. I know how it's going to break Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> the synopsis, right? I can show you all right now. So that's so, like an Adderall and it was cool. Look, so the synopsis <laughs> is just in a sentence of like what's happening, right? Yeah. So I sent it to my friend to try to explain to him. He's like, what is that? It's just a sentence. I was like, oh, he doesn't even understand it. I know everything. That yeah. I know. Just yeah. from that yeah. sentence, I know everything to yeah. that episode, but he probably don't understand mm-hmm. it. But just from you just sitting there saying like, that's what all my lyrics. Nigga, okay, you just remember like your melody? That's yeah, crazy. That's you remember the feeling at the that's time? That's crazy, that crazy, dude. All of the lyrics in my phone, they're not lyrics. It's just like memory cues. They're not like, I don't like really like write out all of my lyrics until like after the song is done. I go, uh, Bar about a girl in a red dress, or like, uh, uh, you were at the docks. And I'm just like, oh, it's the docks. Oh, yes, it was eggs. And it's like, okay, yeah, let's. Yeah, <laughs> like Wait, you get you get to what you were feeling on eggs? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got like such a different approach. I know. Like, what about I you, dude? Really... Bro, for the most part, man, like, <clears throat> so I'm a sober cab dude. You know, I don't indulge in nothing. So, like, what I do to get inspired, bro, LA is beautiful. I go on hikes and shit. I see the world. I get inspired by the people. I'm very for the people. That's why if it wasn't for music, I wouldn't even be doing music. So, like, what I consume is what inspires me to then go back and put out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I think that's just my main approach to it. Main approach. I just love people. So. Right. I feel like. I I forgot to tell you about that. To go to the restroom before. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I, Yo, I definitely, last time I was here, I definitely went like a couple times. I think so, yeah. yeah. I forgot. But it's all good. Um, anyway, no, that's uh, really dope. Oh, wait, so this thing gets back. But, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But yeah, bro, to be honest, the way, so like, I, I definitely get that vibe of sitting in the dark room and getting the vibe too, because that happens to me. And like, you could definitely be in the creative space. And I'm learning to write on the spot more, you know what I'm saying? Get that out of the way. Right. But, uh, yeah, for me, bro, like, I could be out and about, see some amazing shit. And, like, we think there's rules to it, but there ain't no rules to it. Like, you could have a corny topic, a real dope topic, general topic, you know what I'm saying? Or a narrow-minded topic. Mm. It all makes it down to the notepad, and it might touch somebody's ear, so, you know. Yeah, why are you talking about that? Do you think that, like, writing lyrics and stuff, like... Like, damn near, like, limits you. So, it can. You go into it, like, thinking, oh, I got this predetermined idea already. It can, but let me tell you that, uh, like I said, I consume music off intention. Mm -hmm. If I know I'm not going to have good intention when I'm freestyling, then I'm not going to bother. But, like, I know I can get intention behind my writing. But... I'm a I'm a geek with it. I study the music. So if I write it and I'm reading and I don't like how I'm reading it, I'm like, don't do that. Let me just practice it and then I'm gonna deliver it. 
the way I want it to be intended. You know what I'm saying? Are you, are you, are you adding, adding it? Yeah, adding it on the right Wait, ask the question again, though, so it makes sure. Do you think that like <clears throat> writing your lyrics uh, is limiting when it comes to like making a song? Uh, I don't think so, but that's that's because I like everybody's got a different approach. Mm -hmm. My thing is repetition. Mm -hmm. It's just you get Fact. you practice so much, and like uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying like not writing your lyrics. Uh, I'm saying like just writing lyrics limits you because you're just like oh in, in terms of I can't oh I'm not gonna freestyle now because I already have this predetermined idea. But some people can freestyle. Making, it depends. But like what if you like you're you're saying like oh I can't freestyle. But what if like yo you're limiting yourself. You're like oh no I need to do this shit that I'm writing. Or I'm not even gonna attempt this freestyle because I'm not even good at oh, it. Oh I see. But like you could go in the booth like that night. That night and just but some niggas don't really have the shit. Depends. And you're yeah. just like, yo. I got just made yo fuck. Yo, I just made four four four. It's just gotta be that intention. It uh, depends. It's, yeah. that, it's just gotta be that nigga, intention. Bro. Like I think not every nigga can just It's tough. Well, it's like, a skill knows, set. You can be, it's like right you know, true. You, you can be true. that nigga. True. You know, the thing that's stopping If we me dig deep not, inside us, like yeah. not digging, like putting yourself to that limit. And like, you know, like the moms who like uh, they kid get ran over by like a car and they get like, huh? that, that adrenaline rush and then they they, they throw the car off. I've never been in that situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah like like they can lift the car because they got the adrenaline rush because oh, like the yeah. kids in danger. Yeah. Like you're not putting yourself in that position like lyrically or like artist wise for you to be like, oh snap, this adrenaline is about to like fucking make me snap. You like. It, you no, might be I right. I had to give I it a go, even, bro. I can't even put myself in the adrenaline rush because I like I I wrote it out. I'm safe, you know. I'm safe. I wrote it out. I thought about it, but like, who knows if you in that mid, like that moment that she's like, this is awkward. I'm not, like, I don't know what to do, and then you like you spit some shit that shit's crazy because your brain is pumping it so do be those much moments. adrenaline, yeah, so much I dopamine and serotonin. You're just like. Fuck, I just unlocked the Matrix. You know the moments where they freestyling? There's a whole lot of me. I can see. I can see. I can see. But, but, but when you do that, it's, it's that feeling. Yeah. It, it's it's that adrenaline rush. Like, you, people can feel music. It doesn't matter, like, right. what where you come from. You can tell a song is good or bad right. based on the feeling. And if somebody, like, can feel that emotion that you're trying to give off, it makes them relate to it, like, ten times more. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And then do it does go down to the tensions. But because some people yeah. don't even write their shit, they just recite it. Yeah, yeah. but that but that's like it's a skill set. You got to practice at the skill set. Like I worked at I worked at writing, like, but never he freestyle. Write, he doesn't write no more. Who? Black. Please tell me he doesn't. Black don't write. Please tell me he. You don't stop. Oh, the freestyle. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you said like somebody writes his own shit. No, 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 no. He doesn't. He's way too talented. He's way too talented. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he's too lit. He's too lit. For the most of the stuff he does, he goes to the studio. He's yeah. He first vows. That's the shit he does. That's like a that's the veteran skill though. Like to really know like his freestyle is crazy though. Black is. Yeah. No, he's crazy. He vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything he says has like. So much intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel intention. Right. Modern, it's true. Bro. Modern, bro. Yeah. So modern. Oh man. I'm trying to be on that level one day. So, um, well, one day. you get that. Just think about, uh, you know, music in mm -hmm. general. You know, what I'm yeah. saying, you know, you do have to have good music. There's a lot of people I believe have good music. Yeah. Uh, but it's just not out there. No, it hasn't been heard by the right ears yet to be put in place for it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so with that, but like, yo, even I'm just about to get on my soapbox. But even <laughs> now, even now, even if you get the song and it, and the right person hears it, like, if you ain't got the coin to back it up, that don't matter these days. So yes. about, okay, <laughs> so like, yo, yo, like, yo, they'll hear it. You can get it to them. You can literally get it to them. Like, yo, you can get your song to the head of Atlantic. They will hit you back. They will hit you back, and then they'll go, yo, what's your budget? That's a fact. <laughs> Damn. So, okay. So now you got to get the clout in order to hit them up. And so, okay, now you got the clout to hit them up. They'll respond to a DM, but then they'll still hit you with that other barrier. What's your budget? Really? Yeah. With the clout? Yeah, with the 
o'clock. That shit don't matter. You gotta, you gotta be able to bring them money, or they're not gonna take you seriously at all. Like, that's what I'm saying. But anyone who has the bank, club, I feel like if you have the club, you should be like, nope, they don't, no, because everyone's got a club. Yeah, everyone's that's why. Club. So it's and even the connections are like, everyone got a club. Uh, that is true. I mean, yeah. I guess can you bring money in the table there? I mean, yes. you bring, because because you if you're signing a deal, like say they give you a million dollars, really it's like six hundred thousand dollars. So you get six hundred thousand dollars. You have to pay that back. So if you can't bring in more than six hundred k, you owe the record label, and they're just gonna they put you in a pocket. Your next say your negative three hundred thousand. You got to make nine hundred thousand the next album. It, they, they'll give you the advances, but they're like gonna fuck you over if they can't, bro. Cause like one percent of the people that get signed really like go on to do those sort of things. Everybody else gets shelled. Damn near everyone in the industry now that's popping right now is is literally placed there. Niggas are yeah. just making it. Nah. No, so so everyone's the industry get plant. plant. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not but, necessarily their industry plant, but they are like. <sighs> I was yeah, not so. no yeah yeah I was, yeah in, uh, in yeah, terms yeah. of in terms of they've been uh, doing it yes they've been doing it but they were definitely groomed to do it but yeah. I mean do y'all listen to the I mean industry plant y'all listen to the mainstream people right mm-hmm. yeah. yeah all right I want to call mainstream people industry plants though there's some people that have been doing it for like like years. uh the dude you just said that you Don Tell him. yeah Don yeah. He's fucking with Travis, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Travis yeah. kind of put him on, you know. What I'm so saying? understand, but, no, no, but he's talented he's as fuck. Industry. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 and I'm not taking, I'm not taking this that. Would that be an industry point though? No, for no, me, I would say in popularity though. Somebody, somebody, they just they're like, oh, you're 19 years old, you make hip hop music, we're gonna take you and make you a big star. Yeah, and that's what that's what they sell, and then they're like, here's this formula we've applied a hundred times. Can we use it on you? And then you have no say in what your music says. Yeah, you, an industry plant pretty much has no control over their music. Yeah, at so all. So, like, yeah, you may have been doing music before. Yeah, you may have, like, been doing this shit and trying to make it. But now the artist that you are now isn't you. You're whatever they say. Yeah. So, uh, you're whatever the so industry I feel like y'all really respect Tori right now, right? Yeah, uh, I, I, I respect the, I respect the business plays, yeah, for sure. I, I respect his flow. I respect like what he's doing, but I. Because then he pretty much is he doing the he, same yeah, thing? No, but, but he shot Megan yeah. the Stallion. Oh, no, 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 In terms of, I, I just people, that I just people off their music and to their. We're just people. talking about his business. Oh, so he's, he's doing a great thing. He's doing a great. It's, doing a great thing for music. He's doing a great. That's thing. But no, doing a great thing for music. Shout out to the queens. Don't shoot the queens. Don't shoot the queens. No, if he shot Tory, lock his ass up. I mean, yeah, but that's not even. But if he didn't, leave that nigga alone. If he didn't, I'm just. If he didn't, for sure. I mean, if that first of all, like, he, he did, did, he did, so he did, he did, he did tunes it. that we love so much. It has nothing to do with me or any of those, really. It's, it's them. <laughs> yeah. They in our lives, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He didn't shoot. He said I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? We were. No, thanks, 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 thanks. So, I'm always going to love Tori's late music. We'll you know what I'm but that's like, but I that's love like, Meg and Tori. Both wait, but how do you guys great. feel about like R. Kelly? No, fuck R. Kelly. But his music was amazing. No, he makes good uh, music, but fuck R. Kelly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fuck R. Makes good music. R. Kelly, but his yeah. music, man. I don't, support, but, but I, don't, I, I, don't was, support his, I don't support his music because it supports him. I'm yeah. sorry about all of the people that are... <laughs> oh, I like how you put that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> crazy, y'all. Yeah, yeah, say that again. Yeah, yeah, I don't support the music because it supports him. Sorry for everyone that was involved in... Um, like, in the involvement with him. Yeah. But they should have known... They should have known, like what? what no, that's uh, testy. That's uh, time. No, 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 no. time out. We all time out. Ho- no, 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 no. You can't. Uh-huh. Say, you can't say. You can't say they should know. Homie was literally picking people up from the high school. Yeah. So you're telling yeah. me they you don't let think that the people that was making songs that. with them they, they don't let do that? They knew. All them niggas they know that, bro. No, they one hundred percent. Bro, they should be accountable too. Bro, in the music industry and the Hollywood, all this music industry, it's weird. It's, it's all it's weird. Super a lot of crazy shit goes down. But I'm here's the sure thing: you see, you, it's what you they see a lot of shit. He was say it. he was popping, and in the industry, if you're popping, yeah, if you're popping, people are gonna still gravitate towards you. It doesn't matter. What but that's you're that doing. you know. You know what that's what I was asking. I was asking like, where's the limit? So, so this is where my question goes. You know, besides having good music, you know, 
it's like it seems like you have to have antics or something around your name to like kind of promote yourself and your music for you label for label shit for, yeah yeah for label oh, shit yeah you know what I mean? besides, besides, going the, route, besides the factor of like well you know this is besides after R. Kelly shit that's after you know he's famous and shit but yeah even like on the grind and, and rise mm. do y'all feel like you need to like be on some crazy shit or no. have this image before I answer that I also think, before I answer that just before it's off my head I think that R. Kelly's catalog as far as his masters and everything needs to be signed over to like the victims or stuff like that so they reap the benefits mm-hmm. that would be that's interesting not no. it, that well, would be I'm interesting saying, no. No, that I'm gonna say fuck that because, that would be no, interesting. because look check because this out because they're still getting played so they, ne- they reap the benefits of this listen there remember R. Kelly's famous. Yeah. Some of those girls and their parents put them in that predicament yeah. so that can happen. Their parents. That's called grooming. They are not held responsible so, responsible for that. Uh, they're man, they're underage. They're underage. That's they, it's called no, but, grooming. Uh, but it's called grooming. But if the girl's underage and they get profits to R. Kelly's thing, it's they like you're promoting but, but then but then it gives people more reason to go see And then some the girls... It doesn't people, matter. Those girls were assaulted. Point blank period. Uh, they are yeah. underage. They were assaulted and they should be compensated for said assault. No, like, It doesn't sure. matter. That's their a pa- fact. Their parents put them there. Fuck them. The girls should be compensated, not the parents. I don't I don't think it should benefit R. Kelly, though. Yeah, exactly. Time. That's no, what I'm saying. Even if masters, he doesn't get the money, but he... like. In in his mind, fame is also a part of it. So if you're if you're like no, let him dwindle. The out, thing but is, like, but whatever revenue is coming coming in from that, give it to them. It's, it's just way more complicated than that. Because imagine the trauma of like reaping the benefits from the dude that raped you, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's like yeah, yeah. it's Yo, a it's a very suck. complex that situation. Would that would absolutely yeah. suck. it, it would be interesting. Suck, but I'm telling you, it feels a whole lot better if you don't have student debt. That's a fact. I mean, yeah. but, that's it, but, but to me, it goes down uh, your I intentions. Know. I don't know. Yeah. It goes down to your intentions and like the parents' Intention. intentions. Like, oh, well, we're going to get a bag later on. That's like fucking with Michael Jackson. No, fuck yeah. the parents. That's what I'm saying. The intention of if you're talking about intention, the intention of it is to give compensation to the victims and deny the aggressors. I so see your point. I t- see if it, that's the intention. Give, that, give, that compensation, the intention. give compensation, but not at the benefit of the person that did it. Like no, it, it, no, even the person that no, this even, person's benefiting from it. Take it from them and give it to them. In a in a perfect uh, world, yeah. The thing is, I don't know those stories. I didn't even really watch the documentary. Oh shit! You know wild. what I'm saying? Oh my god, god. that's I a wild, wild shit. I didn't watch Yo, it. It's literally on camera. It's shit. Wild. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's on. No, but he wrote a song that said I did. Yeah, he did. I did. I didn't see that. You can see this. It's on camera. Like, oh damn! It's undeniable. It's not Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Uh, there's one. There was, what, was there one on? I, for, I forget. No, there was one on Amazon and then one on Hulu. I have Amazon. I have Amazon now. There's two. Damn, I'm gonna have to watch it now. Damn, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to really check no, it out. That shit, it's, it's insane. insane. It's, it's hard to I don't, watch. So this is the thing. I don't know. So that's the reason I can't really like. I don't want to speak on something I don't know, and I'm not gonna do yeah. that. Homies mature. on camera. You feel me? Homies on camera. You know what I'm saying? And I can't. He is seen. Hey, that is R. Kelly, and that is a 15 year old child. But he but he recorded himself saying, <laughs> saying yeah, all that like, shit. Weird. He was like, song, he right? asked her how old she was. Yeah. Are you talking about the peeing thing? No, there's more. There's more than that. There's, there's so more, much there's, more. There's, there's, more there's, there's a grip of evidence. There's, there's, there's a million. More. There's so many layers. Since that, since the peeing on you thing like happened, there's more. He recorded more people, <laughs> and people brought girls to him. This was like. This was part of his whole studio. Is of it him. just R. Kelly though? No, hell no, hell no. no. And man. what I will say people is are like, always racist as fuck. They're only depending on him because he's black. There's mad, mad people, mad white people. Yeah, in the know, I, I, that's, that's a fact. That's I'm not even slide. And, yeah. you know, that too. That part too. I mean, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no names, but I've heard of some big names, singers who like Shout to out do, Woody do Allen. who like to do shit crazy. like that. Who like to like whole like put women like yeah. trap them in jail and then for the weekend? There's shit. higher shout there's out Woody ups. Allen, Harvey Weinstein. There's higher ups in the industry, and they're like coming out now, sort of. But like to be honest, like this has been the case. That's why when they was for really going time. hard on like uh, folks like Bill Cosby and then R. Kelly, yeah, I, 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 scum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we we didn't see it, up, but, but at the same time, and that's why. 
that's why I appreciate your approach. He's like, what I don't know, I'm not gonna speak on. It's just them dudes really like, they really was flaunting the fact that they was a part of that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Or Kelly was at least. <laughs> and it's 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 just like, yeah. it's goofy. It's all goofy. That's why. Yeah. Then when you to even go back to the original question, like, do we need antics? I don't know if that is what mainly benefited R. Kelly's career, but it's no. definitely a no. reason. No. It was, his was music at first. Music. That's why I said that yes. after. Yeah. But there are a lot more household people that know his name because of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which well, is it's well, disgusting, now, but yeah. it's a fact. You know but what I'm saying? But when he was making music, everybody knew him for his music. Yeah. There's a lot of people that knew him for that shit too, though. Like that's been talked about for a while. But he's like, always he, had he undeniable was, talent. He, he, he was like, like. Like big big. I know. Like, like some yeah. of his music is time. Big big. Yeah, I, I know that. Is. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, like, you, I, yeah, yeah. I, what I'm saying is like people now, like you'll be like R. Kelly to like just some random household. Oh, I don't know who that is. Like oh, that's the guy who on the rape documentary. Oh, I know him. He's the one that made that. You know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Anymore, yeah. He's but you're gonna have a negative connotation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. You ask anybody who that is, like oh, that's the dude that pee on it, not the dude who. Who made believe love? Yeah. Y'all saw that video of Jada, Jada Pika Smith. She was on the. She had got on the video. And was like, hey, his numbers. Like that documentary came out, and his numbers shot through the roof. Yeah. That yeah. antic, whether or not it was on purpose, worked. Oh yeah, his numbers. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. When, That's um, why I think his the masters. When, when that shit came them, out, that he was trending. Zone, but, but, yeah. was okay. trending. Okay, yeah, okay but that shot through the roof. But who's to say? He doesn't own like less than ten percent of his music. Yeah, that's the label, and, and, and that is true because he he said he was broke. He was Which broke. Which is very he that's, also, that's probably there, true. There's so many there's so he many bands that he go did through. Not that. pee on those girls. <laughs> no, no, no. But then he said he did. Then he changed his story and completely admitted it. Right. I mean, so I mean, R. Kelly's a wild card. Antics. I yeah. mean. What do y'all think? You don't you don't need antics. You just gotta be your authentic. Depends self. on what you're trying to do. It does. It does also depend on what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to make a living off music, now nah, you don't need antics. If you're just trying to be the a famous person, yeah, definitely antics because that's what the popular, the, like the populace likes. Yeah. If you're just trying to make a a bag off music, nah. You're just trying to live, nah. Right. I like that. The thing is, folks want to be entertained. Yeah. So like, the most entertaining thing is like the nerve that some of these people be having. So like, mm-hmm. when we see. Boom, boom gang, y'all remember Boom Gang? Yeah, yeah. It was the nerve of the fact that he would snatch phones out of people's hand and rob a store just like on camera. It's like the nerve of this guy. It's yeah. entertaining. It's like how dare he? So like if you if you trying to approach it with that angle, that's cool. Drill art and drill music right now is so consumed and beloved because of how authentic it is. These dudes be talking about the realest street shit ever. And that's why people have consumed it because it's the nerve to speak that amount of truth, knowing it can be this amount of. Continue. It depends, bro. Like it dead ass uh, just depends on like what kind of like lane you trying to fit into. Did Kendrick Lamar need antics like that? Hell no. Nah. He's still one of the amazing, most amazing artists ever. You know what I'm saying? J. Cole, Joey Badass. But they put the time in. The yeah. People with the antics have a short window. That's a fact. It, it's always it's always gonna expire within a couple years. That's the and that's the difference between like a Kendrick and a six nine. Yeah. Kendrick is like legendary you, forever. If you get famous off antics, you like constantly have to be thinking, all right, what's my next antic? What's my next thing? Yeah. You get famous off music, you're thinking like, yo, what's my next song? What's my next thing? Like, that's a you can take your time. Yeah, that's a better thing. I mean, but, but even the way things to... are going now, it's like you. I feel like only way I hear of an artist if there's some drama by the name of a new artist. Yeah, yeah a new artist. Yeah, but yeah, that's the thing is like people. Aren't, I mean, a mainstream people aren't famous artists. cause music. People aren't famous for music. But mainstream people are famous, and then they do music. Also, mainstream. And they get the bag off music because they also do. Acting. You know, how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about that? Like, that's uh, just another bag that. They're how do y'all feel about like just if they had like clout, right? And then like they're just trying to make a bag in clout, music. Clout is literally like you're yeah. signing a deal. I care about about in, in terms of in terms of industry, you're signing a deal, but you're not gonna. You get like say you make a million dollars, you're gonna get you're gonna see like twenty five to fifty k of that. Like honestly, like these these people that are putting up these crazy streams, the label's getting like all of that. So these people are getting fucked over first and foremost. That's why they're so young. But it's like it's not sustainable. You fall off and you go through like a bunch of shit. The only people I can think that have sustained it is like 
in terms of younger artists is like Trippy Red. Uh, the other people who were Facts. competing with him, maybe like Juice World and X, that passed away. It's like it's death is the best how, promotion, bro. How long can these people like keep it up before they fade into the background? If you're really in it for the music and not the ski. money, you're gonna be able to like ski mask. Yeah, ski mask. Ski mask the slump god. Shout out to ski mask. What I will say on that though, I think that back in the day I used to look at that like like let's say if like a, a slim Jesus came out. Uh, back in the day, I didn't appreciate that because it's just like, uh, what is this? He's literally just like following this wave on some cloud shit. Still don't just, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be honest, let, let me tell you why it would be different now because we've had more Slim Jesuses since then. We just consume it better now because we just like to be entertained by the antics of these people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to be honest with you, I'm okay with that. There's real music out there. You just got to find it. But the yeah. fake music is going right, to be consumable right. by somebody else. So like... I'm going to laugh at y'all. Y'all are funny as hell. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. But the fake yeah, music yeah, I, is at the forefront. Like, everybody... That's, seen, a, that's, that's a fact. That's the thing. I look at it like, yo, I'm not looking at you for music. I'm looking at you to entertain me. That's a fact. Entertainment is a bunch of different things. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm not looking at you for... Like, yeah, you do music. Your music is entertaining, but I'm not listening to the your best, music. The best You're word. entertaining, not your music. Yeah. Um, but I um, also am supporting the music that I listen to also, but, like, I'm not supporting your music. I think... You're I'm just funny. I yeah. believe the best artists are the quiet ones, like Frank Ocean. Frank the, Ocean. His fan base is solid. These are people who are he passionate. Yo, yeah, I'm just going to... Mac Ayers, or Ayers, if you're, if you're a Mac Ayers, bro. get hit, bro. All right, get, get hit. Yeah. Put us on. That is, a, that is a person that is doing the indie thing completely correctly, completely yeah. independent, doing crazy numbers. The music is fan-fucking-tastic, and he does completely everything himself. Completely now, you see how he has the appreciation for an artist that we don't even know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that, that's the beauty of it, because the people who do it right... They're so beloved, so beloved, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then the people that go about the antics, we all know their names, that's fine. But we can't really quote their songs. We don't really, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's They're going to entertain who they entertain. Yeah. But the people who are beloved, bro, they booed off Drake at the Camp Flognaw. They I booed him fly, off yeah. for Frank Ocean. So, like, that, that, that's the kind of fan base I want. Fuck that, like, big, the big cult, mainstream. The I want them to... But if yeah, you think you're getting that, Frank that Ocean real, and you get Drake, it's like... Real totally different. Yeah, audience. that is yeah. true. That's a big job. Would y'all Do y'all think that would happen the other way around, though? I like, they got Frank Ocean, well, but they expected Drake? You gotta consider the background as well, either. because Camp Flogna is Tyler's thing. True. In a lot of future, like, like true, true, Frank... True. If you're thinking Frank's gonna show up... And it's Drake, and you're a Tyler fan. Yeah, I know yeah, you're gonna yeah, be yeah. like, still, ah, still, but still, Drake is the biggest artist in the world. Biggest artist, biggest, but, but, biggest but artist. Think Frank about, think about, think about fans of Tyler the Creator because yeah. that's his festival. Yeah. If you're, you're gonna be Shout a bigger fan. Of Frank I went to Camp Ocean. Yeah. You are gonna be a Drake. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you could still like Drake, but you're gonna put Frank Ocean above because, like, you listen to his. And Frank Ocean's like, you know, but you're not performing like Drake. But they did. But if you think it's Frank Ocean. In that right. situation, specific situation, people was crying, bro. If you're going to a different festival and you see Drake instead of Frank Ocean, it's fine. But like, I think it's because it's Odd Future and it's so connected. Because yeah. that's the thing. I think there's Frank two routes. Got a different power. The, true. <laughs> different Crazy. power. And there's different two. Power. There's two routes. You either go the industry route, you sell out, you don't yeah, you own a lot of your music, you don't have money, uh, or you you build that long term fan base. That's what Odd Future did. That's what Tyler yeah. did. That's what Frank did. It's like it takes a lot of time, and Drake has gone the pop pop route, and but the and the loyal fan base is definitely there. But that's yeah, a fact. Building the cult follower fan base yeah. that like no matter what you drop, they gonna buy, they gonna watch, they gonna yeah. stream, they gonna share, and because right. it, it, they care about it. Yeah, you gotta get them care to care about, about it. it. Yeah. Right. I feel that. So you know, I was telling you in the beginning. Um, I feel like the music industry. I mean, music is dead. Ooh, now yeah. I'm gonna say this why. I say it's dead. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I'm older. Now. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. <laughs> you're a young man. You <laughs> make it. You make it sound like you're 46 <laughs> or something. Yeah, like, no, like, no, but I, I get what he's saying. No, he's like, listen, yeah. I'm 29, and I like I listen to the new music now and everything and whatnot. But I don't. 
it's not on repeat for me. Actually, for the sure. older songs I grew up to, I listen. Uh, and I, well, older songs I used to listen to, that's what I mainly listen to yeah. more than anything than the new songs that comes out. Now I don't know if that's just because I'm getting older. You know, with your parents, your yeah, parents don't like your yeah, music. You know I, what I'm saying? I, so I, do. I don't know. I think it, that is what it is. It's, it's just nostalgia. Yeah, like, or is it, it just reminds you elderly? I'm mean, elderly. I'm fucking older shit. But <laughs> I don't know. It's just me getting older, or because yeah. music doesn't hit no more. Like Drake just came out with uh, three songs. Those songs are not already played for me. No, I think it's because you're trapped in nostalgia. Whenever you hear a song, you're thinking of the moment you were when you first heard that song or what was going on when you were hearing that song. So you're just like, Music oh, got shit. the power to take you there. Yeah, this was this was a great time. So like you're hearing these older songs and they're not just good songs that sound great. They're also... Com- um, time capsules. Of- yeah, they're yeah. also like... Moments. With... With the, with the added like memories, right. so like you of course you're gonna like that shit better, um, but now there's tons of tons of good music. No, there is there tons of good music. But there's out. also we're just also not right now, right now. So when you turn fucking ninety, you're gonna be like, yo, that Sasuke shit was fire by Uzi. <laughs> Hell no! I hate that <laughs> shit. It's trash. But when you turn ninety, you're right. 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 you Imagine a movie without music. Oh right, you know That's what I'm saying. Boring. Imagine, don't you? you do you nothing. use music for the podcast, like an yeah. intro? You, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no such thing as music being dead. Like the way we consume like, the modern I'm music. Saying, How like, you just compared that movies were like are are like that shit is so important. There was music in movies before there was words. I'm saying like, for those dialogues. Remember when Drake came out? And, no, okay, but, yeah. Two two different versions of Drake. Drake right now is trying to make a pop record. He's trying to get the bag. I love about when Drake first came. When Drake out. first came out, he, he was inspired. speaking. That's a fact. But he was speaking. Everybody. He was That's speaking from the heart. He's not speaking from the heart anymore. I, I'm not different. talking about this now, Drake. Though I'm not yeah. talking about this now, Drake. That's why I, I even said like Drake's three songs that he just came out. Let me make a comparison. Uh, when Fifty Cent first came out. It was a total problem because of how authentic the music was and how good he was. Mm -hmm. And I don't think if he ever tried a million times in his lifetime, he would ever be able to replicate that because he didn't take the approach that uh, uh, Drake did. You know what I'm saying? Drake had to transform himself into like a real pop artist to like stay as relevant as he does as opposed to somebody because like everybody fucked with Drake when he first came out because that it was him. It was so authentic. And that's what it was for Fifty Cent, but Fifty Cent didn't, you know, he don't he he probably has a, like a team of writers, I don't know, but I don't think he has the pop writers. I don't think he's trying to make that pop record no more. I think he knows that the records that he made is for the time that it came out. But yeah. the thing about music being dead, I could agree with uh, it's like damn, like Drake don't inspire me the way he used to. And that's is there any good. songs? Out now, that's like Don Tolliver, bro. Don Tolliver, yeah, I would, you know, I would say I, that. Honestly, one yeah, of them. You're Travis, talking, yeah, yeah Don. Bro, you're talking about popular you're, music. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not music talking about. Like, just, you're not listening to music. I can't yeah. listen. I, I no, know, but you're, you're, but you're not, talking about you're like the, to the radio. You're talking about the toy You're, you're talking to about the Drake. You're talking about everybody that's at the upper echelon. You're listening to top forty. You're not listening to music. Big, big difference. Because there's, in, in my so opinion, much. in my opinion, there's so two much. ways. No, I believe, no, don't get me wrong. I believe that. I, I know that. So much music like, doing there's numbers. Two, but why isn't like, I'm doing I, I'm, numbers. No, there's two lanes. There's the industry lane where money is getting pumped. These people are getting millions upon millions of dollars to put it in front of people's faces. That is so true. And then you listen to it enough times, you're like, oh, I fucking love this. And there's people that build the cult followings. And like Frank Ocean, for example, and these people, like those fans are there because of the content and because of the, the person. The people that are on the forefront of pop are there because like it's pop, it's what's popular. Mm-hmm. You hear it enough, you hear a song 10 times, even if you hated it the first time, you're like, that I guess it's song. Catchy. Yeah. yeah, you're, you're going to enjoy like it. that song. You're talking about music that is mainstream. Because there's, there's well, no, fantastic well, music. 
Not in that, because, I mean, it can be the, I guess it can be the mainstream music too, but then it can, it's like, I mean, SoundCloud for me, bro, always shows me new music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always, like, it, it, it's, it's something about its, its play, its shuffle playlist. Yeah, it just, they do a good job. It just always puts me on to new songs. Yeah. So, and like I said, like, in in the beginning, I was like, well, what's a, what gets you onto to make music inspired? Yeah. I haven't really been inspired off like other music, you know what I'm saying? That's like, fair, yeah, yeah. If, and, that's, that, I, and that's just probably my personal opinion, my perspective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like music's not that inspiring to like, dang. Like, but when you think of inspiring music, like what comes to your mind? Like what type of artist, what type of songs are you like, oh, that's like, that's something that really pushed me to push So when I was younger, I used to be a big fan of Chris Brown, right? So he yeah. used to always make like just singing songs. Right. Yeah. But one, but at one point in time, he started to try to rap. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. And he started doing rapping mixes, and I was like, man, that's lit. This nigga used to sing, and yeah. he was rapping, killing it. Like, bro, that inspired me, bro. Yeah. So I thought that was dope. Uh, Drake used to always inspire me. Uh, yeah. When he came out with just a new fucking sound or flow or some shit, I'm like, dang, mm. goddamn, yeah. you know. But even or just beats. Mm. Okay. Beats. Yeah. Type of beat. Yeah. For instance, can uh. It's important. Inspired me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I don't know, I just... I actually feel where he's coming from now. Like, like where he used to be inspired by the artists around him. Yeah. Or the, the, the artists that were there. And now it's like, it's hard. It's, it's harder to find. And I think... I don't want to make it like that. that. I, yo, I, think if, I think it's because like you fall in love with music just a little bit more because then you'll want to do the digging. Right now, you're just listening no, to... No, let me tell you. You're like listening you listen to the stuff to, that's yeah. being like being put... So, service bro, when I heard, access bro, when I heard your song, what was it song? Uh, mm-hmm. Simpin. Oh. Simpin. I was like, bro, I wish I it's could make a song like yet. that, but I could never make those vocals, bro. Like, yeah. But that's just because you're putting a limit on this song. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get him in the studio, yeah, man. But, no, but, no, but the thing is, but like, you are a nigga that needs to be out there because I think you have a very different... Like a very different sound. No, we tell Dean about himself all the time. Yeah. Dean, Dean know he got oh, the juice. It's understand. always the same response. It's like ah, I, so I appreciate the I appreciate the humbleness, but Dean know he yeah, got the juice. Bro, like you are one of those people that has a very different sound, bro. And I told you that, bro. I put his I put his songs in my videos. That's how much I fuck with him. Like straight up, haven't I? Yeah, twice yeah. a beat of his I put in my shit like straight up like damn. it's something yeah. special bro so even when I heard Simon I was like damn damn which I, I can like make a song like that and then like bro but you can you know what I'm saying Let's make a song. so it just depends bro I, I get you, know. you though I, I get your angle that makes sense to me but, you know? but when you're talking about like those Drake songs that's the feeling that's the intention mm-hmm. he yeah. felt that the songs he's making right now he doesn't feel he just Do knows you know that, that this flow Okay, no, no, no. He's definitely on top of his shit, but it's not the pure. Because yo, what, what, what? what it's not say, pure emotion. You can't say it's pure emotion. He said, "I know you like taking your chain off." Who is he talking to? Who you been you stuck on to? that. He been stuck on that. Who are you talking? He about? always does Who that though. Their chain yeah, like away? he just kind of like talks. Like he always just random facts. He always be like, "Yo, yeah, nigga taking shots." Who is he? To, Drake is a shooter. Who is he talking to? Let me tell you something about I Drake's really music. Know Drake. I think Drake does keep a certain level of authenticity in his music, but uh, there's something that's always beautiful about that grind, that come up. Mm-hmm. He was coming up under Wayne, who was the the biggest artist at the time, uh, right? Yeah. So it's oh like, God, ooh, he got to yeah. do this, he got to do that, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, there's there's something icky about sitting so comfortable at the top. That's why the competition is so beautiful, because yeah. like it's going to keep you on your toes, but like who's really competing with Drake right now? But if Kendrick ain't dropped the album in this amount of years, but the thing is, you know like, what I'm I feel like he, he had the he also had the luxury of watching Lil Wayne. Baby ain't competing. With you Drake. see Lil, you Kendrick? see that Lil Baby? They're competing with Drake. I mean, like, no, he's nobody's got, he's, competing he's, with Drake. He's, he's, yeah, no, numbers. No, not nobody even, is not now, numbers. but not like, like Kendrick Andrew. was. I Kendrick mean, was, but but at this point, it's yeah. like but that's what I hate to admit That's what that's what I'm saying. So like, if without the competition. Why would we expect this music to get better if ain't nobody keeping him on his toes? Say, but but with him, oh, I feel you. I feel you, 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 you like nobody's you. keeping him on his toes. That's why his music is like, 
trailing, like like stagnating. Uh, ever since like know, 2015, yeah. and like I, I like I do like Drake. Don't get me wrong, but like ever since 2015, who's really competed with Drake other oh, than Kendrick? And like. Even, even then, even, like that wasn't, Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? That like was 2017, when he 20, yeah, 20. So like, like <laughs> Drake took it because Kendrick quit. You know what I'm saying? Not he saying Kendrick could be. Shit out. So like, like it's hard to, who's it's gonna hard keep to him on his toes? Yeah, we can't expect him to make good music if ain't nobody gonna keep him on his toes. I, and I hate to admit it, but there's nobody in his league right now. That's a fact. Right now, yeah. that's what I'm saying. There's there needs to be somebody to like really come in the game and change it. Like you know, how long does Drake have? But in order for the who's gonna be the leader? Who's gonna be the leader? Who's gonna be the top? Drake's like that's all mad industry. Industry is different. Like music industry is different than music. There are people music wise in the music community that'll knock Drake across the room, fuck Drake up. But music industry wise, no, it's a completely different thing. It's a completely different business. He's got all the best people. Skill networking the, skills, you know, he's like, got but like all the best people, all the, the best greatest teams. team. Homie's got Nike. He's got the he the Nike. He can just go, you know, waltz into Nike and shoot a music video. That's a lot. That's a fact. Tomorrow. That's power. Yeah, that's power. And that's everyone power. in the world is going to watch it because he's got that industry. He's that got that the industry. fact of the matter is, Power if Lil Rock. Baby walked in, that would be a cool cameo. But if Drake walked in, he would change our lives forever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like no, j- just his presence, nigga. If I got Dude. a Lil Baby verse right now, if I got, little, I would be popping for like six months. Six, if yeah. I if I didn't drop anything, if I got a. Drake verse, I'm popping all year. Yeah. I'm popping all year. That's a fact. That'd be a nice collab. 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 That'd be a it's been a one of those motherfucking episodes. One man. of those episodes. Genuine conversation, man. We appreciate you, Prince, yeah, man. Yeah, man. How y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? Really I'm chilling. I'm definitely finna touch this bathroom after this, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I could have I, I could have I don't you understand. I, I really appreciate y'all coming through. I've been wanting to get y'all uh, on for a while. I hit him up, and I told him. He's like, yeah, dude. I told him, like, hit yeah. y'all up and yeah. roar down. So I really... Thank y'all for making time this uh, yeah, Sunday. Lord. Thank you, bro. Do anything and been anywhere in the world, you know what I'm saying? But y'all here chopping it up with me. It's a good choice out of all the shit in the world right now, man. Yeah, right. It's a good Appreciate company, it. so, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, episode 34, you feel me? Woo! Um, so, like what I do at the end of the episode, I like to uh, let everybody know, let everybody know where to find y'all. And what y'all got on individually besides Dean's list, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can do that last. Um, can y'all freestyle? Can we freestyle? Yeah. Let me use the that's bathroom first, a question, dude. Let me use y'all, the bathroom. That's not even a question. Oh, man. Let's this would be go. dope if we freestyle on Let's this go. episode, oh, man. Oh, 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 anytime, any place. Dude. Let's go. Oh, shit. I oh, love me. Okay, we can freestyle this episode. I, that'll be lit. We ain't never, I ain't never did that. I got some artists in the house. But, um,. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> give it a sec. But yeah. Um but shit no, I really appreciate y'all coming through though. Um Yeah, appreciate you having us. Really good conversation we had. I think uh y'all who don't know this I hope people really check out Dean's list, man. I think I should put that shit on YouTube straight up. That is a that, that's a fantastic idea. Like YouTube yeah, you the every videos. episode, yeah, straight up. It's just one more yeah. platform to have your But uh I would say get like one more camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm um, on Twitch. I'm do a Twitch thing. Twitch too. Yeah. Twitch, yeah. But, all, but also get another camera. Well, if you put it on Twitch, you can also upload it on that fucking YouTube. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, but I say, please, dude, just get a camera, bro. And because I think the setup is dope, it looks lit for y'all. Yeah. Do that, bro. Y'all be lit, bro, and just keep getting. It's a, just, uh, yeah, it's a cool suit. And promote it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to get a logo, but uh. Dude fell through, so I'm not gonna get it. Get somebody yeah, out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not there's, hard. there's always, yeah, there's always people Nigga, going down. I'm We're in Los Angeles. It's like, yeah, yeah. Straight up. People are everywhere. Right. <laughs> like, good people at what they do. Yeah, this like, is artsy town. Ridiculous. So, um, let everybody know 
what y'all got going on and where to find y'all. Right. Um, we'll start with you, dude. Cool. Well, I'm your cello dello fellow dolo dude dudes duke. I'm an artist. Uh, so I'm a rapper, actor, and I'm a part of the team called the High Tribe. Man, you gotta check us out. Follow me on uh, Instagram at d o l o d u c e d u k e. It's dolo dudes duke all one word, man. Beautiful people, man. First dude, dude, dude. Yo, I'm Dean. You can find me everywhere, literally everywhere. Dean dot c with three e's. Uh, but, uh, nah, I take it back. On uh, Spotify and all that, I'm just two E's, Dean, dot C, two E's. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing the Dean's list. I'll be putting out songs sometimes. I shot Damn. one of his music videos. Yeah, we shot the a music, music video. video. Yeah, yeah. Shot it pretty good. Uh, <laughs> did, did really, did, I forgot about that for Did really well. It's a very, very good music video. Fantastic. You never know, bro. That shit was just probably John. Yeah, it's never, t- You never know about YouTube. Know. Yeah. YouTube, like, it's I said, I'm crazy. But that's what I'm saying, bro. It could be. It'll happen. You never know, bro. Because the back catalog, you know what I'm saying? Keep going in the direction. People are going to check out what you did years ago. So Big It's important. Yeah, yeah. Leave uh, a trail, especially with YouTube. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. You follow back. Um, you should definitely put up more stuff. <laughs> yeah, nigga. So, what you do? One day. What uh, you got, bro? My name is Madrix. Instagram at M A E D R I X X. I got eight remixes coming out from everyone from. Fucking Halsey, Lil Peep, Red Hot oh, Chili wow. Peppers. Uh, just kind of putting stuff out there. Got a couple singles coming out in the next couple months. Uh, check it out. It's dope. That's, That's hard. Weird. All right. Um, so how do y'all want to like, freestyle? What's up, man? If you can, you put on a beat. Yeah, That's I what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, you got the if you beat. put on any beat, let's go. I mean, we can do it, bro. Uh, yeah, you got the beats. Yep, I got the beats. You got the beats. Bet, bet, we're about to do this, man. Uh, Hold on. But are you going to be able to, like, hang? Or... Wow! <laughs> I guess we about to find no! out. <laughs> this man just charged me on my own fucking podcast. Hey, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. Because, like... If it ain't serious... You're, you're fucking with, like, three other artists. Like, music. Well, Even if you it. put out four projects. Let's see if this gets you back into it, though, man. You know, let's get it. I feel like you love music more than I think you say, cause like you you attempted it before, so like we'll, we'll see, Four man. Four projects we'll see. is like a solid amount of music. Oh, nigga, you don't even know. You don't even understand. No, <laughs> you don't even understand. You. Damn, let me find out my shit acting up right now. Oh man, cause if that gonna happen, we, my shit about to die. No, hurry up, man. What you doing? Why did you take all four projects off? Mm-hmm. Why did you take all projects yeah, off? There weren't any. Tries, but, <laughs> there, but there's for sure like a song or two where you're like, oh, that was a fire song. There's some um, like uh, there's some like there's there's some parts I'm like, okay, this is hits, but then like, uh, no, I couldn't. But not the not the whole song all the way through. Yeah. Okay. No. Fair. <laughs> Um, all right, fuck it, it doesn't matter. We got the freestyle. Oh, here we I'll go. I'll put it on my own spot. Oh, now it's gonna work. Nah, yeah, see, no, you don't know what's crazy like that. Oh, now it's gonna work. When we want it, it's, it's, it's nothing, but it's like, when we want it, it's gonna work for this nigga. <laughs> okay, what, what kind of what kind of beast we trying to hear? Any kind care. of beast. All right. I don't care. First time ever, y'all. A freestyle on the podcast? Yes, sir. Oh, Oof. First time, so you know we gotta make it lit. We're gonna set the expectations real low. Nah, <laughs> Dean's about to get this, <laughs> man. Hey. All right, let's see what y'all thinking. Let's see what y'all thinking. It's random as hell. Yo. Hot box got my socks. Me, my people slinging rocks. Psych for the cops. I'm not about to get locked up. You hear me? I'm not. I'm not snitching, but I'll be damned if I get caught. Uh, dipping, running real fast. They not finna catch my ass. Black or dash. I got my shoes on and I'm doing the dash. Hundred round drum, hundred round this, hundred round that. Keep it on coming on. Uh. I said I'll ask, what did I say? The attention is not there, and I'm about to pass, about to go in, and I'm with the people.
chillin' with Prince and he, he is a friend We got DC on the left of him and that's the man You see his necklace, he shiny, woo, yes he can You think he cannot take your girl, you a silly man Do it one more time, Major's got the sweater, it's finna be mine Everybody trying to act so timely But I'm telling you I'm taking it back to the past Everybody talking right there with a chit chat Everybody looking right here in the back uh, I've been going straight up killing Everybody looking at the man like a villain I'm coming, cutting your neck with that knife Everybody looking nice. for shipping no spice uh, hey. No power puff girls Out in the world, motherfuckers about to take it for worlds hey. I don't care what you saying, absurd yeah. uh, Know that I'm coming with words yeah. uh, Hey, hey, back up in this thing, okay. I got to go, dropping some pain. Uh, I got on that game, let me get back in this thing. Uh, running some names, I take your bitch off of her game. Ah. Hey, let me warm up in it. Hey, let me warm up in it. Oh, yeah. you know, like, no, 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 no. Hey man, shit. Y'all niggas real, y'all real about y'all shit. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't real about it. Years ago, niggas about 23. Yeah, creation in the world. What does swag show me? Oh. Uh, I've been having swag, yeah, before it was popular. I'm swag to the max. You can't see me with binoculars. Here go. Got that hollow flow. Send in hollow tips at your fitted niggas like I'm Ichigo. Yo. <laughs> Whoa. Yo. Yeah. Basis, taking the laces, running the cases. Ooh, I don't know. Hey, hey. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. I don't know. Let, Let me get like back in it. Uh, hey, hey. When that oh, game makes super sound, bow, huh? no one slow. Oh shit. E- Damn, y'all, y'all actually killed this shit. Damn. Let me find out, man. This shit. No, y'all. Oh, this nigga here. This nigga here. I didn't know. I didn't know. Matrix, bro. I better get know. it. You know. All right, we're gonna do one more. Oh man, we're we gonna do the music. Hey, 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 that's okay. Stretch like a lasting. Now they acting fantastic. Mr. coming on fours. 